Well, hello, Saturday afternoon, Donnie Walker here. Feeling a little better today, just doing a little puttering around. Come back to show you guys on this Mini Mac how to set the points on them. So, first of all, points and condenser and coil, eh? I showed you the carburetor, how it was all done, and it's a Zama carburetor, not in Volvo, which I was wrong before. And I did find some kits for these on um, Amazon. You can buy the kits. So look them up. Uh, Zama carburetor M7s, I believe they're called. But you'll 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 see the picture of it and what the diagrams look like. Okay. Anyway, so first of all, setting the points, you can set them at set them at a general spec, which they say is the right one, eighteen thousandths. Okay, pretty much standard for a lot of points on old saws and whatnot. So on an older saws, you want to look for wear on the point, point lobe here, where it rides on a little cam of the cam crankshaft. This crankshaft has like a cam profile on it, and it opens and closes the points. Where some stuff like Briggs and Stratton's have a little push, push, a uh, little lever or little, little tall stick kind of thing goes up and down, you know? Yeah, anyways. So anyways, the crankshaft opens and closes the point. So you want to make sure that it's clean in there. And it's not too worn. This thing's like brand new. I kind of cleaned the point uh, contacts as well with some paper and some brake clean, and just rubbed them a little bit with a, with a, some emery cloth just to clean them up. But they're they're shiny and nice. So I set them at eighteen thou. And let's try checking it now with the O meter. Like, let's just um, put the put the flywheel back on, and I'm just going to check it for spark actually. Well, we, before we get too far into the O-meter unit here. When points and condensers are working right, you get a nice whacking spark to it, eh? I'm just going to put the spark plug in it here, lay it up against the fins, and we'll just turn it over with my, my impact here and just have a look. Use the clutch nut. to get the flywheel nut on a little bit i can couldn't hold it quite stiff enough there i just but i'm going to show you with the ohmmeter how to set the timing with the arrow on the flywheel to the lamination of the coil something i learned years ago okay that's on let's see what she does oh yeah lots of spark you might not have been able to see that it's something you want to check before you put it all back together because you then you got to take it all apart to get back at it again, right? Okay. Uh, spark plugs, I used to use Bosch HSAEs. They're kind of a small, like, tapered type one. This is a Champion RDJ8J. So you need ones without the washers, but a little taper to it. Okay. Okay, so I've set these at 18 thou. It's got spark. Now I'm going to show you how you set it with the ohmmeter. Mine, you put it to ohms to the to the little beeping sound, eh? Okay, hear that? So on these flywheels, you'll see right there it says IGN ignition with a little arrow. You want that little arrow? The ohmmeter should stop beating when that little arrow lines up with the bottom of the laminate of that coil. Right there, okay. If they're close, if the points are too uh, closed, it's going to fire past there. If they're too open, it's going to fire before there. So I've set them right at 18. Let's check it out how accurate it was. Okay, so you put, you take the coil, the wire off that comes from the points and condenser that goes to the coil. You just unplug that wire and put your red positive lead to it and your black negative lead just to the block here. Okay, you should hear it beep. Come on, beep. This thing's been buggering up a little bit. Always when you're trying to show something, eh? Okay. So, the beep should stop when that arrow gets to that spot. Bang. Right there. Hey, okay. Right on the money. Again. 
Now this can also be done on 1010 McCulloughs, uh, old SP81s and stuff that had points and condenser too. As long as, as same on the Mac card engines, you would get into the center and you're looking for that. There's other ways of doing it with uh, degree wheels, um, stuff like that, but that, that takes way too long. This is so simple. And, and these actually start really nice when they're running right. Okay, so we already knew this one fired, because remember I threw gas down the carb that first day I uh, took it apart, showed you how to take them apart, right? So yeah, so don't forget to plug your wire back onto the coil here. Or you're going to put it all together, and you're going to go to start it, and you're going to go, oh my goodness, how come it won't run? Okay, so we got to hook the wire back up. Okay, so hook that wire back up to the coil. There we go. Now you can now you can reassemble the unit. But I'm going to take the flywheel back off and just show you um, in there of how you how you adjust adjust them. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. Two screws. The main screw that holds down this plate, and the other screw is for for just loosen it off a bit and you can turn the point plate to where you want it that eh? So I'm going to retighten the other screw back up because I left it loose to be able to move this thing. Make sure it's all clean in there. And a good way to clean points is with a dollar bill. Old money uh, that wasn't slippery. Can our new Canadian money has got like that waxy kind of plastic on it. That's no good. You want old school money. U.S. guys, no problem. Your U.S. Uh, bills are like that paper with no shininess on them. They're really good to put between points and, and clean. You'll see the black stuff on the on the bill. And that's how you clean them. My dad taught me that years ago. and my grandfather. Put your cover back over. Oh, first over there's this little, little white washer here. Like dust protector. Put that on there. Before this cover snaps down done make sure your wire from your coil to your points there isn't sitting upwards where it's going to rub on the flywheel i've seen that years ago guys who put them together I wonder why it won't run because it's contacting the metal of the flywheel rubbing on it then it won't spark so just make sure that's down and out of the way when you put it back together what i'm going to do is after after this episode here of the ignition timing i'm going to show you how to assemble this back together give it a good tighten probably a torque value but i know the feel of that thing okay there we go so let's turn it turn it back over again this recheck it for spark after i've done that And oh yeah, she's whapping blue. Woo, got me a little bit there. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's setting the ignition on the Mini Max. Like I said, there's that arrow on there. It says IGN. Line that up with the bottom lamination of that coil wire, and you'll set them perfect, just like they say, 18 thou, and get you right on the spec. Um, you can do that on the 1010s too, and when I do that 1010 build, uh, I'm going to show you that as well. Pretty simple. Pretty simple little motor. These are neat, neat little rigs. So yeah, I'll get this back together, and I'll have it all ready to go and show you how it uh, all fits back together quite easily. But we'll do that another time. Alrighty. Keep your saw in the wood. Stick in the ice, rub on your own. Have a great weekend. Go cut some wood, go fishing or something. It's a little rainy out today. I'm just going to go home and putter around. I'm still not feeling 100%, but a lot better than I did the last couple of days. Have a great day. See you later.